Okay, so you had a problem with um, problem of the day number 11. And so what I have here is I wrote it out for you. So the question is, the average roller coaster ride is 1 minute and 52 seconds. And the question is, how many times can you ride a roller coaster back to back in 15 minutes? So I want, what I want you to notice is that we have different units here, right? So we have a total of 15 minutes here, but the one single ride is 1 minute and 52 seconds, right? So the first thing we want to do is we want to convert uh, all numbers to the... Uh, all numbers to the same units. Same units. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert because I have seconds here and that's the smallest one, right? And we know there's 60 seconds in a minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert all these. We're going to convert 15 minutes, and we're going to convert this to seconds. So all numbers are the same units, which is going to be seconds. Okay. So if I convert one minute, one minute, and 52 seconds to seconds, right? I know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds, right? And this is already seconds, so I'm going to just put it underneath it. So that's 52 seconds, okay? So then I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to add these up, right? So um, 2 plus 0 is 2. 6 plus 5, that's 11, right? So now I know that 1 minute and 52 seconds is equal to 112 seconds. That's the same thing. I just converted it down to seconds, okay? So now I need to convert 15 minutes to seconds. So 15 minutes two seconds, right? That's what I want to do. Well, I know there's 60 seconds in a minute, so one minute is equal to 60 seconds, okay? So that means I have to take 15 times 60. So to do that, that's 15 times 60, right? And uh, I will get seconds, right? So if I go ahead and I do the math, right? I have 60 times 15. So I have 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 6 is 30. 1 times 0 is 0. I got to move over 1. And 1 times 6 is 6. So I draw my line. I bring this down, that's 0, that's 0, 6 plus 3 is 9. So I know that 15 times 60, or 15 minutes times 60 seconds, is equal to 900 seconds. Okay? Well, this is the total time that they're curious about, and I know that one ride is this, which is 112 seconds. Right? So, I need to take my 900 seconds and divide it by 112 seconds. And this will give me, second, sorry, this will tell me how many times I can ride. How many times I can ride. How many times uh, I can ride? Okay, so let's go ahead and do the math, right? So I'm going to put 900 in the doghouse. So here's 900 
in the doghouse, I'm going to divide it by 112, right? My decimal point is here. So now, if you just kind of do it in your head, you can go, well, that's a 1, that's a 9. So if I did 9 times 112, well, that would be over 900. So that wouldn't work. So let's do 8. So let's change this to 8. So if I go 8 times, so if I do the math, that's uh, 112 times 8. That's 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1. 8 times 1 is 8. That's 9. And then 8 times 1 is 8. So that's 896. So 8 times 12 is 896. So I'm going to put 896 here. Right now I have to subtract. Well, I can't subtract because of my zero, so I want to borrow. So I want to change that to eight. That makes this ten, but I need I need to borrow from that. So this becomes a nine, and this becomes a ten. So six subtracted from ten is four. Nine from nine is zero, and eight from eight is zero. Well, 112 can't goes into four, so I want to put a zero there right and I want to bring down uh, a zero okay well 112 can't go into 40 either so I want to bring down another zero right so I know it can't go in four times so it's three times so what's 112 112 times three 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, so I know it's 3 times, so it's 8.03, right? So I'm not going to go any farther than that, that's two places, that's more than enough. So my answer is, how many times can you ride the roller coaster back to back if one ride, if one ride is 1 minute and 52 seconds? Well, I converted everything to the same unit, right, of seconds. So I knew one ride was 112 seconds. And I knew the total time of 15 minutes was 900 seconds, right? So then I took 900 seconds divided by 112 to find out how many times I could ride. So 900 divided by 112 is 8.03. So my answer is 8.03 times you could ride. And that's my final answer in 15 minutes. Okay. Well, I hope that helped. And um, I will see you on Monday in class. You have a great weekend, okay? Take care.